Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss an example to implement depth first search traversal technique. Already we have discussed two examples to implement depth first search traversal technique. This is the third example. So the procedure is initially we need to consider one vertex as the starting vertex and mark this vertex as visited. DFS traversal output is first we are visiting A. Next, we need to consider the adjacent vertices to the currently visited vertex. So, currently visited vertex is A, adjacent vertices are B and E. Among these two vertices, break the tie and visit vertex B. Since B comes in alphabetical order, it comes first. So, visit B next. Okay. Now, currently visited vertex is B. Its adjacent unvisited vertices are C and F. Here also, we need to break the tie by considering in alphabetical order. So, visit C next. Now, currently visited vertex is C. Consider its adjacent unvisited vertices that is D and G. Among these two vertices, break the tie by visiting the vertex D. Okay. Next, currently visited vertex is D and its adjacent unvisited vertex. C is also adjacent but it is already visited. So, adjacent unvisited vertex to D is H. So, visit H. Next, currently visited vertex is H. Adjacent unvisited vertex to H is G. Visit G next. Next, currently visited vertex is G. Adjacent unvisited vertex to G is F. Because C and H is also adjacent. It is already visited. So, unvisited is F. Visit F next. Next, currently visited vertex is F. Adjacent unvisited vertex is E. Visit E next. Now, if you are considering all the vertices in the given graph, we have visited using DFS traversal technique. And this is the traversal output for this given graph. So, now we will discuss how to implement this depth first search traversal step by step using stack data structure. So, first step, we need to consider the starting vertex. So, here the starting vertex, we will consider it as A. Okay, alphabetical order A comes first. So, A we will consider it as starting vertex and push A into the stack. So, initially whenever we are visiting the vertex first time, we need to push that vertex into the stack. Okay, and the traversal output is first we have visited the vertex A. So, we have to place A into the traversal output. So, A we have placed into the traversal output. And mark A as visited. Next step, currently visited vertex is nothing but A. Adjacent unvisited vertices to A is B and E. Both are unvisited. Which one we will visit first? So, here we need to break the tie by considering in alphabetical order. So, alphabetical order, which vertex comes first, that will be visited first. So, break the tie and mark B as visited. And now we need to push B into the stack. Already A we have placed into the stack. Now B we are pushing into the stack. Now the top of the stack element is B. And the traversal output is A. Next vertex we have visited is B. Next step 3. Currently visited vertex is B. Adjacent unvisited vertex to B is C and F. Here also there are two vertices. So, we need to break the tie and mark C as visited. Push the vertex C into the stack. Okay. Already in the stack, the vertices A and B are there. If you are pushing C into the stack, now C will be placed at the top of the stack. And the traversal output here is A, B, C. Next step, currently visited vertex is C, right? Adjacent unvisited vertices to C is D and G because B is already visited. Okay. So, D and G if you are considering both is unvisited which is adjacent to the currently visited vertex C. Here also we need to break the tie and mark D as visited. So, the stack content if you are considering in the sense already it is A, B and C is there. Right now, we need to push D into the stack. So, the top of the stack element is D, and the traversal output is already we have visited the vertices A, B, and C. Now, we need to visit the vertex D. 
so that now we have visited the vertex d so we have placed into the traversal output next step consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to d adjacent unvisited vertex is h only c is already visited so unvisited is h so mark h as visited and push h into the stack so now the stack contents are a b c d and then h now the top of the stack element is h and the traversal output is a b c d and h next step currently visited vertex is h adjacent unvisited vertex to h is g because d is already visited okay so adjacent unvisited vertex to h is g now we need to mark g as visited and push g into the stack so the stack contents will be a b c d h and now we need to push g into the stack top of the stack element now it is g and traversal output is a b c d h and g next step currently visited vertex is g so adjacent unvisited vertex to g is f only c is already visited and h is also already visited so unvisited vertex adjacent to g is f so mark f as visited push f into the stack so the stack contents will be a b c d and then we have visited h then we have visited g then it is f now the top element will be f and the traversal output if we are considering in the sense it is already a b c d h g now it is f also we have placed in traversal output and next step consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to f it is e because b and g already it is visited now we need to mark e as visited and push e into the stack so stack content will be a b c d h g f and now we need to push e into the stack now the top element of the stack is e okay and the traversal output is a b c d h g f and e so now the currently visited vertex is e consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to e that is a and f is adjacent to e but it is already visited we have placed it into the traversal output already okay so there is no adjacent unvisited vertex to e so we need to pop e from the stack okay and placed it into the popped order so popped order if you are considering in the sense first we are popping e right next top of the element will be f and if you are considering f also there is no unvisited vertices adjacent to f pop f also and next we need to pop f next top of the element after popping f is top of the element is g g if you are considering there is no adjacent unvisited vertex to g so pop g also after popping g the top element of the stack will be h now consider h and check its adjacent unvisited vertices there is no adjacent unvisited vertex to h also so pop h also after popping h top of the element is d check whether it is any unvisited vertices adjacent to d no so pop d also next top of the element is c there is no adjacent unvisited vertex to c also so pop c also next top of the element will be b similarly b also there is no adjacent unvisited vertex so pop b also next top of the element will be a a also there is no adjacent unvisited vertex pop a also now the stack will be empty okay so popped order of the vertices is e first we have popped then f then g then h d c b a so this is the popped order of elements and the traversal output dfs traversal output if you are considering in the sense it is 
First, we have visited the vertex A, then B, then C, then D, then H, then G, then F, and then E. So, this is the traversal output and this is the popular order of the elements. Thank you for watching this video.